Good day viewers, Troy from Troy's Visual Arts channel. Here I am on location once again with my mid-80s National Panasonic NV-M3 Nuvicon tube colour camera. This time I'm out uh, West Stapto region, one of my favourite places to do a bit of filming. And uh, yeah, along West Stapto Road we've got this old rundown house. The house looks like it dates from I'd say probably, I don't know, 1910s maybe. Maybe a bit earlier. One, it's pretty much a uh, it's pretty much a uh, popular stop for photographers. A lot of photographers take photos of this house. And I've taken photos too and made a few videos. Anyway, yeah, I thought it'd be worth filming it on this camera. And uh, yeah, over here we've got a large, I assume, fig tree. And uh, zooming right out, and over there we've got Mount Kembla. Yeah, it's been pretty miserable weather today, but it's cleared up a bit, and I thought I'd go out in location and do a bit of filming. So this is going to be one of a uh, few to several stops I'm making to do a bit of filming. I'm going to finish this video very shortly. Just sort of do a zoom in on Mount Kimbler. There's the house again. Okay viewers, here I am in another location now, further up uh, in Dom de Barton area. Here we have an old, uh, an old shack. Yeah, I sometimes come up here and take photographs and the like, and uh, yeah, thought I'd get this on video. So it's a shack probably, probably from the late 9th century maybe. It's in a bit of a dilapidated state, or should say decrepit state, that's the word for it. Anyway, I'm just going to back her up, back up a bit so I can get it all in frame. Yeah. Few farming properties about. Some horses over there. Yeah, back to the shack. Here it is, pretty much in frame now. Just gonna go. Do a bit of an exploration of it. Not that there's much to explore. So here we've got some old, uh, I guess, farming equipment, Sunshine brand, as you can see. This is something you'd see at a uh, 
steam engine museum like uh, Pern Steam World in uh, Westbury, Tasmania. Places like that, pretty much. Nice, neat piece of uh, of um, old farming equipment. I don't know if this is manual powered or steam powered. Probably steam powered, I guess. There's the uh, interior of the shack. I'm not going to go right in. Probably not allowed in there. Here's the other side of the shack. Okay, viewers, here I am on uh, another location here, just down the road from that uh, old shack, and over there we've got some deer that's just ran off. Bummer. Anyway, we'll go up here a bit and show you a piece of uh, Illawarra history. So over here, We've got an old hostel, I think probably the only one left in, in, in uh, its existence in the Illawarra. These, these are hangar type uh, structures used to litter the uh, Illawarra back in the 40s, 50s and 60s. Yeah, it's for uh, all the uh, Migrants from overseas, they, when they come to Australia, typically, well, at least to the Illawarra anyhow, and wherever else that hostel is, typically they, their cheapest accommodation is a hostel. And, uh, yeah, they would probably live there for a few years, and then until they can afford a house, and, and then, um, yeah, move on to whatever house they can afford to rent or buy maybe. But anyhow, um, yeah, I think think back then hostels were pretty much the cheapest uh, long-term accommodation for people who migrate to Australia. Anyway, from what I read on the, inst on the internet, it is the uh, only surviving hostel. It obviously wasn't from this area. It was. Uh, put here um, after the hostels were taken down, which I think was sometime in the, probably the early 70s, late 60s maybe. There you go. zoom right in on it. And it looks to be not in, the, not in a, a great state. Uh, it's in a bit, I'd say a bit better state than the, than the shack up the road. I filmed earlier. I'm going to get up a bit closer now. I've got to keep a distance from the fence because it's an electric fence, of course. Mount Kembla with some uh, cloud over it. And here we've got a bit of a bit of a uh, lagoon happening. Don't know if that's if it's 
been like that a lot, or if it's just from the recent floods, but either way, it's a lagoon now, and it looks quite nice. I'm going to snatch a, snap a few uh, digital photos of this area before I leave and move on to the next location. Yeah, quite a nice area this. Okay viewers, here I am along West Stapto Road. I'm going to really watch for a pump of camera because with the sun shining to the southwest or to the west. Anyway, I thought I'd share with you um, the, this area used to be all, um, all paddock land not too many years ago. And in uh, the past, I don't know, several years, houses have been sprouting up everywhere along along the uh, eastern side of West Africa Road. And there's plenty more to come. Yeah, it's a crying shame that this nice, nice uh, countryside is pretty much turning into another suburb of the Illawarra, a suburban area. I think it stinks. The worst part, worst part about it is a lot of people cannot afford houses in New South Wales. Even to rent a house, it's, it's just astronomically high. But anyway. Anyway, that's the new suburban area sprouting up along West Acto Road. I won't be surprised if in the next 10 years this all this paddock land's going to turn to bloody suburbs. Further up um, where I usually do my filming around, uh, I think it's Payne Road or something, uh, near Don Barton area, there is like a mini suburb out there now. There used to be all nice paddock land. And uh, looking towards Wonga Willy, I'm just going to have to try and, yeah, watch the sun. Don't want to bloody burn the tube because this is a tube camera. Anyway, further out west is uh, Wonga Willy. And that used to be, uh, used to be just probably a few houses and, uh, and a coal works. Now it's, uh, now it's a big suburban area. There was this nice, uh, lovely looking, uh, creek uh, snaking its way along the paddock land. I used to take a no nice photos of it. Now that's all bloody uh, real estate which is a crying shame. Anyway got a few cows over there I don't know how long this is going to be paddock land before it turns into real estate, as I said earlier. Yeah, I've got to film a few things before I move on to the next location. So, I've got Mount Kimball once again, with some fire over some nice old trees over there. Don't know if you can hear me over the cars passing by. Anyway, nice area, but sadly it's slowly turning into fucking bloody suburban area. Alright viewers, here I am in another location, probably the final one. I'm out at uh, Kennehooker Point. Yeah, don't know how much battery power I've got left, so I'm using a uh, Two amp hours, so generally you'd think you're probably only get about half an hour out of the batteries on these old cameras. I don't know. But anyway, enough of me waffling. Here is Kanoka Point. And uh, yeah, over the distance is Berkeley. Let's go zoom in. Over there 
Mars 8 Flats, Mount Warrigal. soon so this probably will be my last location now this is a pretty lovely area Good place to chill out film around here. I'm just gonna wrap up this video. This will most likely be my last location. Okay viewers, this is pretty much the wrap up of this uh, 
video logging with this vintage Panasonic National NVM3 Nuvicon tube color camera camcorder that is a full size VHS yeah back home now and uh, yeah just wrapping things up just want to do a little bit of filming just to finish it off Anyway, it's a, it's a lot of fun going around on location, filming it retro style on this camera. Alrighty, well anyway, see you on my next uh, vlogging adventure with this vintage camera. This is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts channel, signing out.